the other big issues then besides the ongoing European sovereign debt crisis in your view? Well, in addition to the European sovereign debt crisis, we have a theme that the U.S. is a lighter version of what's taking place in Japan. So you have lack of significant loan growth, margin pressure. This year is likely to be the worst year for revenue growth for U.S. banks since 1938. And so you layer on top of that existing revenue weakness the European situation. It just means that it's a, a tough environment. Banks have to pull back risk. They have to pull back the, the head count, and it's some tough decisions ahead. Okay. So, Mike, uh, you have uh, some banks that you rate as an underperform, some you rate as sell. What's the difference in your view between the underperformers and the ones that you sell off? Well, this is a big risk-off environment, and I'm following that through with my bank recommendations. I think we need to go for the highest quality banks. Those are the ones where I might recommend, and then the lowest quality banks are the ones I'm recommending to sell. But in aggregate, I'm still a net seller of banks. I'm still underweight yeah. banks, and I would kind of go into a bunker and come out when the conditions get a little bit more settled. Okay, so I'll talk about the ones that are outperformed because uh, those are a few in, uh, shall we say, select. Uh, Goldman, Wells Fargo, State Street, and PNC. What's your view on these? Okay, well, I'm picking Goldman Sachs over Morgan Stanley. Goldman Sachs has had more management stability, a consistent strategy, and they've handled risk very well in different environments. Back in 2008, they got it more right than any other big bank. They pulled back risk a couple quarters ago to the lowest level in five years. So they are seeing more, and they're just pulling back, and I like that more defensive posture. So that's one. PNC Bank among the regional banks, that's the only stock that among the regionals that I recommend. I have sales on over 10 regional banks. And PNC yeah. has also had a safer risk posture. They have some acquisition benefits. And so on the other hand, the ones that I recommend selling, like a Citigroup, you saw what happened uh, during trading hours today. The SEC oh, yeah. uh, agreement with Citigroup was thrown out by a judge saying it's not enough to discourage future problems. If you look at Citigroup over the last decade, and I know I've talked in your show before about this, and I write about this in my book, Exile on Wall Street, for every $3 that Citigroup earned over the last decade, they gave $1 back due to risk mishaps. And then they yeah. had the issues with the Japanese private bank, Enron, WorldCom, you had uh, analyst conflicts of interest. You had the whole mortgage crisis. They've had a major risk management problem almost every year for the, the last decade. And here, this They've was going to be a $285 million fine. What's another 3% yeah. on top of the $11 billion they paid for the last decade? So in an okay. environment when risk is as high <laughs> as it is now, a company that hasn't managed risk well, that's one that I do not recommend. I gotcha, Mike. I gotcha. So what about Citigroup, though, in this uh, $285 million settlement being thrown out? Isn't this, uh, this is a precedent case, isn't it? I mean, what does this mean for other settlements and other brokerages involved? Well, some others have already settled, and I think that was part of the issue here. Uh, Goldman Sachs had settled for more, and uh, the Citigroup situation has the potential to be more egregious than even the, the Goldman case, which was in the headlines a lot over the last year. So I think the message being sent, though, is it's not simply enough to pay a little fine and say that's going to discourage future bad behavior. In fact, that's one reason why I wrote the book, because some of the same abuses that I've seen over the past two decades of my career continue today, even after the crisis. Okay. Mike, uh, always good to see you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Mike Mayo of CLA.